Oh, deep in my heart. I don't know what you do with the hole there. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage. Today we are here at Savers Thrift Superstore. Sesame. It's very quiet here. There's a little milk glass dish. Has the hop stars on there. It's $3.50. Oh, it's the bottom is broken. We'll just put that right back down. Darn, $3.50 wasn't too bad otherwise. Here's this pottery for $4.50. It's glazed on the interior, kind of like a like a lava glaze. There's some, some minor chips, plus it's just kind of ugly. But <laughs> here's a plate, $3.50. This has like the foil on the back of it. This is reverse painted, so the paint is actually on this side of it. That way it won't rub off. And then there's foil behind that. They call that tinsel art. Look at this tree. Made in Taiwan. Guess you could put your rings on there. All your fancy rings. So I'm gonna be very, very positive here and say we're gonna find some interesting stuff. I'm gonna say that, but well, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Oh, this is, this is, I don't know when that's from, but it's $3.50. Doesn't that look like tire tracks? Look, there's flowers inside of it. That's fun. Lots of little pottery pieces. The bags are all like done up, so they've got Christmas and Halloween. We'll look at those in a little bit later. There's a random paint roller hanging in there. <laughs> okay, so they have all of this other Christmas too. I don't know, at first glance, it seems like a lot of new stuff. Of course, new stuff sells, but I, I do vintage. Royal Norfolk. It's so royal. A lot of this is pretty darn new, isn't it? We're gonna get past this aisle and then we'll check out some of the non-Christmas stuff, but I don't want any of this. No sorry. Ooh, that's the Stay Puffed guy. This could be good. $2.50. Oh, is that from, it's from 2017. Oh. Well, if this was from the, like the 80s or the 90s, I would think it would be worth something. Maybe I should look that up. This is not my wheelhouse, like toys and collectible toys, but. I don't know. It says Playmobil. Playmobil. Play, Playmobil? 2017. I'll look it up. I'll put it right there. I love Ghostbusters. It's just such a classic. Let's try to find one that looks like it might be something, but it's not. Let's try to find that. And then we'll explain why I don't want it. Well, I mean, this kind of has like a mid-century flair. It's $4.00. It kind of reminds me of like a mid-century glass. It could be, but it's amber. Why don't I want it? I don't know. It just doesn't get me excited. It's $4 though. I wonder if all that calcium would come off. That's another thing. You need like a denture tablet. No, I'm not gonna bother. You have all these bunt pans. You know, when I see these, it reminds me of the Golden Girls. And like in their kitchen, they've got bunt pans hanging on their walls, like a lobster. I usually don't find any metal things that I gotta get, except for like if it's an old tin or something that I really enjoy. I'm not seeing anything I, I like here. And they have all of the wood items on this side but nothing is really jumping out at me yet. I'm hoping for the best. Is this a kit? Oh, I've seen these before. So you have to put that string on there. It's like a dot to dot. Remember dot to dots. And then you're gonna find out what this is. What do you think it is? It looks like some, is that a spider? It looks like a spider, doesn't it? Do you think it's, do you think it's a spider? How do you know where to put the string? I don't know. I mean, I know you put it around there, but how do you know which in which order to do that? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe that's not something I should ever do. And maybe it's Maybelline. Oh my gosh, it's meant to be. Oh my gosh. This mug looks so tired. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy this, I think. As long as there's no chips or cracks. This is heavier restaurant wear too. I mean, it's not really restaurant wear. It's heavier pottery. 
but it's two dollars fifty cents all of this black marks will come off uh some of the graphics are screwy aren't they some of these like lines there's like these gray lines in there some are some are kind of worn that will all come clean I like the flamingos and everything on it. That's very 80s, 90s, so I'm going to get that one. Yeah, because I'm moving to Florida, so that's what I'm doing. Lake Tahoe? Well, if I was moving there, that one's only a dollar. Why? What? What? But what? <clears throat> that one's clean and ready to go. Are you kidding me? Why are the, what's the price discrepancy around here? $2.50 versus $1.50, and that one's clean. Oh, I know I hate to complain. At least I have a mug. Some people just have to pour the liquid in their hand. Oh, deep in my heart. I don't know what you do with the hole there. Ooh, I love these drips. I love a good drip. It's not a good quality for a person, but I like it in pottery. $4.50? That's pretty. Oh, look at this. Home is where the heart is. Yep, I know. I saw that heart. It was over here. It's deep in that heart. That's a uh, anchor hawking. If it had geese on it, I would throw it on the floor. But I'll just leave it other way. Wait a minute. What is this? Is this a mug that we want? No. Who's Kona Donna? That's for Hawaii. I'm not going there. I'd like to. I wouldn't mind it. I've heard great things. But no. Oh, these are pretty plates. They have fruits on them. That's Mikasa. That's a semi-collectible brand. People like Matasa. They have a lot of good dishware. Oh, I like these. These are very like 1980s deco. Oh boy. $4 for this. It's called Savior Vivri. Viver, Viver, Viver. Oh, okay, you get. Okay, so it's $4 for four little plates. Oh, I love those. And then look, you only get the two of the big ones. That's really sad. That's really unfortunate for that. Like, cause I, I'm kind of tempted by those really, really, truly, deeply, madly. Oh my gosh, this looks like there's dirt all over it. Oh, accents, genuine stoneware. Hollandia, Hollandia. That sounds like an interesting land in Holland. This is the Yorktown pattern by Falsegraf. Yes, very, very, very popular. This is scratchy too. Last time I was here, I gave a tip to use Barkeeper's Friend, which I'm gonna do on my mug, just so you know. So, I have a link in the description. You can check that out for Amazon to get the Barkeeper's Friend and the powdered version. That's gonna clean my overpriced mug up. Kinda cute. They're like little roosters. They're Oneida. They kinda look like the uh, 1940s, 50s, don't they? Very, very, very much so. Who are you? Does that say, oh, garden? <sighs> now this looks like a piece of Fire King in the swirl pattern. And it is Fire King oven proof. Or it's oven wear, not oven proof. $4.50, that's a really pretty pink. Oh, mashed potatoes would look so pretty in that. And other kinds of potatoes, you don't have to mash them. I like that pink. That's kind of coastal, isn't it? Do I need this in my life? Probably not. Needs to be washed. Oh, I want that so badly. But I have to pack it if I... I don't need that. What am I going to do with a bowl? I mean, really. They're wheeling out stuff, like, the whole time we're here. So I might have to... Ooh, Crystal. She's a heavy girl. Wow. It, this is a pinwheel pattern. And this is not cut crystal. This is molded crystal. It is etched, though. So that little... See those little fans coming off there and that frosted look? That's the etched part about it. The rest of it, all those, you know, big, deep bits, that's all molded in. So as opposed to being cut. And there's a difference because if you were to cut this, it would be sharp. It'd be sharp as Sally. And Sally's pretty sharp when she's not selling seashells. These are, this is a lovely picture too, $6.50. This is also molded. Oh, 25th anniversary. Does anybody use these? 
I mean, if you've been married for that long, do you really want to be reminded about it? <laughs> I'm kidding. But, like, when are you using that? Like, I mean, I just don't think anybody did. You got, you just put it in a cupboard somewhere. Oh, that's pretty. $4.50. This is from Dallas, Texas? I didn't think anything good came out of there. No, I'm kidding. That was a joke. I was joking. Peterson, I think. Something Peterson. This looks a lot like the Limoges pieces, the blanks that they would sell. That's really pretty though. Has little blackberries on there. That's a really good job. Peterson did a really good job on that plate. I don't think anybody told her that. Look at this one, this pink one. That's $2.50. Caliente pastels. I know a little bit of Spanish. I think that means hot. Hot. I feel like Paris Hilton right now. That's hot. That's hot. That's Caliente pastels. What's down here? Plastics. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm in California, all the plastic. That was a joke too. I, I'm full of those jokes. Wonder bread. This is so cool. If I ate sandwiches, well, I wouldn't use that. But I, if I ate them, I would think about using that. Oh, all of these pans. Oh, I am just gonna walk right by them. Not in the mood. No, no, sorry, no, goodbye. Well, this flap is very annoying, but this Stay Puffed thing, it is, it's a, excuse you, it's about $27, or, this is, <laughs> I can't even speak, my flap isn't working, nothing's working here. So this is about a $20 item, I'm going to go ahead and get it, it could do a little bit better, I need to wash him off, get a magic eraser out, his little hat looks like crap, but what do you expect from a piece of sugar that's been inflated? So we're going to go... This way. Um, I do like looking at the fabrics. So we're going to check them out. Like the blankets. Oh, oh, I love this. I love the colors of this. Oh, I like that a lot. This is like such a vibe. This is $11. There looks like a, like a stain in it. This would be for myself. There's like a little spot there. So a little tomato soup spill, that's all. And then maybe an OxyClean would clean that up. I like the color. So there's this sort of like dusty rose mauve and then this pink, very trendy. And look at that. I like even the weave on there. I like the weave. $11. What I don't like is fringe. I'm not a big fan of fringe unless there's benefits. No, I decided not. So I'm not gonna do that. If it wasn't for that, whatever this is, if it wasn't for that, I would do it. Oh, there's lots of baby blankets too, but I don't want any of those. You know what, actually I didn't even finish that one aisle. I'm being kind of silly. Let's finish this way. Now, yeah, the colors on that's kind of haphazard. Although the red, white, and blue is kind of fun with the chevron, a little zigzaggity. I don't know about that. Probably no. This is a pretty color. I like that blue. That makes a good throw blanket. Oh wow, look at these bulges. Doesn't it look kind of like a mermaid? Five dollars. I like all the bulges on this. They're like little poofy bulges. Boop, boop, boop. It's kind of fun. I'm a sucker for these cutouts. You know why? Because I'm silly. No, you know why? It's because they remind me of the lithographs that I like so much. Why are there magnets stuck to the... Oh, that's the back of it. Okay. Maybe they put that on the refrigerator. That's really inventive. Oh, hold on. There we go. So this is made by Eureka. Eureka, I think, right? Yes. That's Eureka. That is so pretty. You get the whole bundle of them. What is it? Who did this? Those people. Do we know? That's also Eureka. Now, I'm not as knowledgeable as I'd like to be on the age of these kinds of things, 
my first instinct is to say that they are from the 90s. They're called the personality bears. Three dollars. I don't know, like, that seems approachable. Now there's another one here that I'm kind of thinking about. This is also three dollars. This has the newer one. Oh, I like that man. He's articulating. He has arms and stuff that move. Oh, that's so cool. I like the mush the fact that it has mushrooms and everything. And this one also has window clings. What I'm probably going to do, since I'm buying both sets, I'll probably just put all the window clings together, sell them, and then put all of the, um, group the other things together or something in some similar group. My car is so good. We're going to check out the jewelry now. Ooh, brooches. They're flowers. Who did... I don't want that. There's a giraffe with a bent head and ears. That's a pretty one. I like the flowers on that one. Christmas tree. Yeah, it's the wrong time of year. And too expensive. So, no brooches for us. Through these bags is kind of fun. Sometimes you can find stuff, other times you cannot. Cake, cake wonders. Oh, I love decorating cakes. I never make them. In fact, I have like one of these tip things and I just use it for deviled eggs. That's about as fun as I get, filling up an egg. But my deviled eggs look beautiful. You should be there for them. And they taste pretty good too. I love a good deviled egg. Hard boiled's okay as well, but they give me the hiccups. I think I consume them too quickly. Ooh, streamers. Remember whenever you, you have parties and throw streamers around? A moose, a Colorado moose. A carousel, the star votive holder, more of these darn plates. And I was looking at this because there's a raccoon in a bag for $2.79, but it, the ears are messed up. It's made of wood, which is really cool. That, that like makes it so much better. If it was just resin, I'd say no. I require my raccoons to be made of wood. Oh, look at her, she's holding her heart. Heartburn, nausea, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Okay, I'm by the checkout that I'd show you. So we've got this little man playing his flute. We've got this happy guy here. This is my favorite right here, this one. His arms, he has both of them. I just fold in behind. I like the colors on this one in the graphics. There's that one. There's this really cool one that we looked at. There's these little couples walking down the street. There's the personality bears. There's this uh, panda bear. That's cute. That's another personality bears one. Oh, there's this one too. That one's cute with the little bird. And then all of the other ones are the Klingons. And they're really fun too, all these Klingons. All right, so we just finished up here at Savers. I think I did really well and as you saw, the mug cleaned up really well. Of course, I'm telling you this in the future because I haven't cleaned it yet. But uh, I plan on cleaning it and showing it to you as a cut in in the video. But that mug is really fun. I wish it was cheaper, but what are you going to do? If you want it, buy it. And so I have the uh, really cool cutouts by Eureka. Mm, I just and St. Patrick's Day is coming and everything is just so wonderful so that's gonna be great and then my stay puffed man he's a big old marshmallow and that's just really and now I want to watch Ghostbusters although I'll tell you what that movie there's parts of it I'm like no like the one where he the painting comes to life that freaks me out every time it's like his face and everything all right well I'll wrap it up here thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye